Welcome back to H20 Special Relativity. In this section, we want to um, study space-time diagrams a little bit more in detail and also define certain regions in space-time diagrams. So let's start again with you know, Alice's space-time diagram here in which we plot or draw Bob's space-time diagram. The relative velocity difference is 0.5 times the speed of light and that leads to a gamma factor of 1.2. We also plotted the word line of light in here in yellow, um, light with a speed of light equal to c. And I want to discuss two specific events. The first one here, event number one, is the one where um, ta, the time for, for Alice, is one, and xb, the space for Bob, is equal to zero. So this event lies on Bob's timeline. If we read off the time on Bob's clock, we see it's 0.83, 1 over gamma. And here we can immediately lead, read off time dilation for this event. Note that while xb for Bob is equal to 0, xa for Alice is not 0. Similarly, we can look at the second event here, where we read off xa equal 1. Read off 1, in this case, light year for Alice. And so now we want to investigate this length in Bob's reference frame. For, for him, time is equal to zero. So Tb equals zero. We can immediately again read off Xb equal 0.83, and that indicates length contraction as observed by Bob. Important to note here is that those two Alice and Bob will not agree on the time when the measurement was made. All right, so let's zoom out here a little bit um, and look at another space-time diagram. So in this space-time diagram, again, I drew light <coughs> word lines or word lines for light in yellow, and I plotted a total of 12 different events. And now we want to characterize those events, and we want to characterize them based on whether or not they are time-like, light-like, or space-like. As time-like, we define those events where c square, t square minus x square is greater than zero. Light-like are those which are like light in a word line. C, t, c square, t square minus x square equal to zero. And space-like those where c square, t square minus x square is smaller than zero. So the first task is now to find to which of those uh, regions the individual events correspond. And so again, stop the, stop the video and, and, and try to figure out whether or not you can find the solutions. So the solutions are given here. Time-like are events two, five, and six. Light-like are the ones which lay on the yellow lines, one, seven, four, and nine, and space-like are eight, 12, 11, 10, and three. So one of the things you can find, if you, if you um, are you know, starting here in the origin and you wanna to correspond to any event in the future, you can only do that if the events are time-like. If the events are space-like, you will not be able to correspond between those two, two events. That's one of the way to, to read the, the, this kind of space-time diagram. And in the next section, in the next video, we'll talk about causality, meaning can a specific event cause something to happen in another event? Again, this can only happen if the events are actually time-like. 